Well, welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. So many times you get a bunch of keys and you need to go back to the site. So you need to make another set of keys. Most of the time you, you can do most of them. So you can do your standard C4 and things like that. Um, you can't do these um, power ones. So they're off, off the limits and getting a, getting a master key is extremely difficult. If you have one you'd like to sell, the master key, let me know. I'd be interested in buying one. Uh, the RFID chips, these ones here, there is a product out on the market that is pretty cool, which is this $100 little device right here. And using some of these chips here, most of the time we can actually um, clone one of these. So we can come back later on, saving us having to go pick up and drop off keys. So I'm just going to run through and do that. It does have batteries in the back. Um, you put your card in here, makes a little beep. I've disabled the beep because it's a little bit annoying. And I don't put the batteries in there because they keep going flat. So I just use a little power thingy. Much easier. You just plug it in when you need it. You don't use it all the time anyway. Now there is different formats. Um, HID can be done, um, but not the I-Class one. And um, some other encrypted formats can't be done. So some of them you can do which is really handy so and it's also not bad if you're running a locksmith shop or a key cutting shop to have one of these if you get the right chips the emulated ones you can actually copy quite a few of them and offer that as a service to your customers so just on the back here just holding that in place there read read failed read read failed read failed Okay, that's still full scan. Maybe this is one of the, okay, read success, card number, blah, blah, blah. Maybe this is one of the unlucky ones that we can't do. Sometimes it is like that. I'm using one of the emulated ones first. Let's try writing, write success. So let's just take it out, read it again, read success. So it looks like it has done a, a copy of it. Read, read success. So we're coming up with the same number, it's 125 kilohertz. The next thing about this is sometimes for these type of tags, builders, uh, they've got their, their mates coming back to the building and they're doing like $200 per token, crazy amounts of money. So the, the benefit of having a machine like this, if somebody does want another one, they can simply get one duplicated. If you buy this little machine, then you can duplicate them. If you buy the right emulator things, they're fairly straightforward. They'll either do it or not do it. But it's another little, um, another little offering that a lot of places are now starting to offer. You don't need to know a lot about it. I mean, this, this machine generally does all of it. Uh, just to show you how powerful this machine is, I just want to take out a, like a key card. So here's a key card I have, and I'm not going to show you, but it's got the, the pay wave in there. So this is how powerful this thing is. Put in there, read. Read failed. Scan. And it actually does pick up, um, well it did for the other ones, believe me. Um, it does, actually does pick up quite a lot of different formats. So it's good. Um, it's a good little tool for 100 bucks. And now I have an access card so I can come back to the site when I need without having to run around to the real estate and pick up keys. So that's, a, especially if you're managing buildings, it's a big advantage. Um, you can also offer it to your customers, pretty cheap. So I'm going to take this upstairs now, I'm going to check and see if these tags work. And um, yeah. Take it from there. Okay, so here's our tag. Working. Working. So there's our tag and our copy. Let's just have one little look now. So the lift has access. So we put the copy on there first. We shouldn't be able to access the basement. So it is working. Let's try accessing this one. We can't push it. Let's try now when we put the tag there. The we can push one. it. So what we've done is a good climb right there. Doors opening. Now with these things, they will, um, this is like a firmer max one. You Doors can make closing. a little bit of money Elevation from, going down. shush, you can make a little bit of money just from duplicating these. If you want a more secure system, there are ones out there that are encrypted and things that can't be Basement duplicated. Two. But um, for that little machine, it really does help out and, and does allow you to, um, to you know, duplicate it. So especially if you're on a job site like we are today and we need to go back, two seconds, uh, didn't cost me, the tokens are fairly cheap, $10 or something. The machine's like $100, so 
but geez, by having a, a swipe card really makes a big difference. I'll just try one more, can't push B1. Yep, now I can. And you've got to remember too that sometimes if one token is in use in the system, the second token won't work because it is an identical clone. So some, some systems are like that. Okay, thanks for watching.